I told you about this uniqueness. The media likes you stupid. And they wouldn't dare share with you the uniqueness of this election. What is unique about this election? We've never had the person that's usually behind the candidate financially, ideologically, that behind the scenes person. We've never had that behind the scenes person run against the person they were behind. That's like, you know, Harry Reid tried to get you to look at Mitt Romney and say, well, the Koch brothers was behind it. That's like one of the Koch brothers coming out and run against Mitt Romney. Or whoever the Koch brothers were behind their whole political career, they gave millions of dollars to run cover for, made sure that their ideology went forward. We've, that's like the Koch brothers coming out and say, I want to be the president on a liberal side or a Republican side. They want to run against what they've been supporting. That's what they're, they're trying to get you to believe, that Donald Trump is running against what he has been supporting his whole life. And his action shows. His action shows Donald Trump has not been supporting Republicans their whole life. Donald Trump does not know how to support a Republican. He does not know how to support a Republican or conservative position. He does not know how to do it. He got a bunch of people around him and he had a good month because they were able to get him to stick to a script that was positioned like he supported right causes. And his polls went up. But when that boy cannot be on his teleprompter or whatever and it comes out of his mouth, he shows he is not on the right side of America. He cannot do it. Donald Trump cannot support the right side positions. But the bigger question you have to ask yourself is when did Donald start hating Hillary? When? When did this transformation come? See, this is what makes Donald Trump uniquely dangerous. Here's what it makes you see. This is what I would love for a Trump supporter. Just go off of his track record. First of all, the president of the United States does not create jobs. So if Donald Trump is your guy because of jobs and his understanding of business, why do you not have a job? From Donald Trump, the businessman. Why does Donald Trump, the people he treats with respect, why are they doing and manufacturing his ties and his suits? The people that he wants you to believe that he hates now, China and trade and all this stuff, but when it's time for him to be the so-called brilliant businessman, he goes and he does business with these people he thinks he wants you to hate. You're hiring him to go after China when him as the billion br brilliant businessman you believe he is, he goes and he hires China. Why didn't he hire you? He has a track record of the people in America that he hires, Americans, of cheating them, suing them. This is what he does to Americans. When has he ever sued China? Or when he has he withdrew his products that he makes in China. See, it's just like what he's demonstrated in the Republican Party. During the nomination process, he's eviscerating everybody that's in his family. Dogging the hell out of everybody in his family. Promising you that he's going to dog the other side if you give him the nomination. But he's never dogging them. He's not dogging them as bad as he's done our own family. Same thing with his business dealings. When it comes to American citizens, he cheats them, he beats them, he underpays them, and he files bankruptcy on them and leaves them hanging while he comes out smiling like a Cheshire cat. But just like the Republican thing, when is he going to beat Hillary? So what makes you think he's going to go beat on China? He does business with China. He does business with Mexico. He's just telling your stupid selves that will believe him because he's catering to your feelings and your emotions. So ask yourself, why didn't Donald Trump hire you when you were unemployed? Why did he go out of the country and bring somebody else in instead of hiring you? What makes you think he's going to hire you when he gets the presidency? A job where he doesn't hire. Because you hate Hillary so much.
You won't even connect those dots for yourself because your hatred for Hillary. This election season was brilliantly orchestrated by the media, by the people behind the scenes and everything. And you are watching both parties not being transparent and relying on the stupidity of the American voter. You're watching both sides do it. You will not see that Donald Trump will not will, will dog you out because you hate Hillary. That's that's your number one. That's the big, the largest. If you did a poll, matter of fact, the poll came out. What is it? Fifty nine percent just because they hate the other candidate. So you liberal voters will continue to be massacred by liberals. The black community will continue to be massacred. The homosexual community will continue to be massacred. The liberals will, that you're voting for will continue to bring in the people that will kill homosexuals on sight. The liberals will keep supporting a distraction in the black community, Black Lives Matter. They'll keep su- supporting that bow movement while your young people are being massacred at the clip of 93% supported or underneath the foot of liberal politicians. So the liberal voters will continue to keep getting physically massacred. And the Republican side, the right side of America, will continue to be ideologically massacred. Because your hatred for Hillary and your hatred for Donald. But guess who keeps winning? The RNC and the DNC. The people behind the scenes. The rich people. The media has showed they have no interest in the we the people on both sides. So-called conservative media icons are pushing somebody who's been liberal his whole life and will not let you know that Donald Trump was the one behind Hillary Clinton. They won't tell you that. Why won't Sean Hannity and them tell you that? Because they have a plan to continue to bilk you out of millions and billions of dollars because you're emotionally listening to these people because you're starvation for conservatism. You got to have a conservative talking point versus a conservative walking point. And then when it all boils down to it, everybody that you've trusted has sold you out for Donald. And I'm going to get into this later with Lita Whitener when she comes on the show. How much we are continued to sell ourselves out. See, you feel cool because you can blame Hillary for the demise of our country. You can blame Donald for the demise of our country. See, so you feel good. You feel good that you have somebody to blame. But when it all boils down to it, The only ones that have to blame for the demise of this country is we the people. This country was built for us, by us, so we're the only ones that can tear it down. If if we function endowed by our creator, then that means we'll never take a a personality over a principle if we function there. But why don't we? Donald Trump is a popular person firing people. Firing Americans. Don't do what I say. I fire you. But it's TV. It's not reality. But why he why he was able to do it so well, if you know anything about reality TV shows, reality TV shows popularity or functionality is based on a group of people understanding how personalities come together or conflict. You watch these these love and hip hops and all this kind of stuff. These people are artists. Okay, fine. They're not multi-platinum selling artists. But what they do is they put personality conflicts. They're just popular enough to where if they put these two personality conflicts in the room, they'll clash at the right time, at the right moment while the camera is rolling and get you all emotionally tied up on wondering whose hair or whose hair weave is going to get pulled out the fastest. But if you look at the principles behind this mess, It's foolishness. It's something that you should not want your children to partake in. It's something of bullying at an all-time level that you should not want any of your children or your family to function like. And they make a bunch of money off of you, getting you to violate your principles. So here we are, Donald Trump. He violates principles left and right. But guess what? You're not principled. You remember him from TV. And you guess what? So he's popular. You went for a personality versus a principle. Just like Rush and all them guys. You went for personalities versus principles. They became personalities talking principles, but when the push come to shove, they abandoned their principles for money. There are a bunch of old people that have been doing it so long, just like the people in your community, don't know how to let go and trying to figure out a new kind of way to maneuver and manipulate people so they can continue to go further. 
Instead of retiring, moving on, passing the mantle, passing the baton, they're trying to hang on. And then all these old people, Donald Trump, Roger Ailes, and all of them come together and said, we can get this conglomerate to keep going further. At a strategic time, endorse Donald Trump. Sell out your principles that you have been teaching the American people. Sell them out. Prop them up. Push them forward. Explain him better than he can explain himself. Because people will continue to listen to you because why? They're sheep. They don't know how to think for themselves. They're lazy. They're concerned about their vacations and their timeshares and their 401ks. They don't have time to, to research. They don't have time to know what principles are. So they'll keep listening to you even though you're selling them out. And now we have a unique election where the number one supporter of the person that you hate is now running against the person that you hate. And the reason why she is there for you to hate was the support of the person running against her. If Donald Trump and people like him never supported Hillary Clinton, she would have failed a long time ago. He supported her through everything he's complaining about. Benghazi, he supported her. Secretary of State, messing up, he endorsed her. Running against Barack Obama, he was behind her. If Donald Trump would not have been there, Hillary Clinton would not be here. But now you believe that all of a sudden he hates her. I'd just like to know when that happened. Because I can tell you right now, he's demonstrated he hates us more than he hates her. And he's definitely loving what his family loves. And that's liberalism. I'm Phil Williams.